Hello friend, Joe at the office here. Before we get started, uh, do me a favor and please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out a lot. Thanks. Uh, also, before we start, I just want to apologize for my nose. I fell down the stairs while holding a cat. Or at least that's what my wife told me to say. Okay. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll cover how to make a label on a form flash different colors to bring attention to your users when working in Access. In this case, uh, an inventory database will alert the user when quantity on hand of an item falls below the reorder point. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, create a quick uh, table. Uh, table design. We're going to have item ID, which is an auto number, and it's also the primary key. We'll have the item name. Short text is fine. We'll have the quantity on hand, which is a number. Oh, hand. On hand. Uh, and then the reorder point, which is also a number. I'm just leaving like that. All right, let's save that. We'll call it table items. And let's go ahead and get some data in there. Um, <clears throat> so let's do a 5 8 inch machine bolt. Um, quantity on hand is say 500, the reorder points 100. Let's do a 5 8 inch eye bolt. And uh, quantity on hand is 35, reorder points 100. And then one more 5 8 inch T bolts. Uh, 150 on hand, 100. All right. Um, and of course, these on hand quantities in an inventory database would go up and down as you issue inventory out or receive inventory in. So this table will always be changing as your master item table. All right. Yes. I want to get rid of that. Uh, Real quick, just it bothers me about these tabs. All right, yeah, I know. All right, let's reopen it. All right, yeah, all right. <clears throat> so, based on this table, let's go ahead and create a form. So we'll use the form wizard, select all of our fields, and I like justified, so we'll do that, and we'll call this one form items, finish. All right, so it gives us a nice little form here, maybe we could use, uh, let's go ahead and go in and design it, uh, let's turn off uh, the layout view, we don't need that. I also want to select this item ID because we we're not going to really want to see this, so I'll probably make it uh, not visible in time. But what we do need is a label here. So this label, come on now, that happened. This label will say items that fall below their reorder point will flash. All right, let's uh, name this. So we'll call it uh, label directions, I don't know, something like that. Perfect. All right, and to finish this, we need to go to the form. So I select the form button there, and we're gonna create some code uh, on timer. 
code builder. Let's see what we can do here. Need to definitely make that smaller. All right, so the uh, on form timer, we're just gonna put some code in. I already typed it up. Like that. So this is telling it what it's going to do when the timer is activated. It's going to just change between red and black and red. Uh, then we need a second uh, event procedure on current. So we'll go ahead and come in here, code builder. And on current, I typed it already, I wanted to save some time. So if quantity on hand on this form is less than the reorder point, then um, the timer interval is 300 milliseconds, which means that every 300 milliseconds, this code will activate. So if the reorder point is greater than, so anything else besides this uh, statement being true, then the timer will go to zero, which means the timer events will not uh, activate and the four color of this direction is going to be black. All right, actually, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, save that and let's test it. So let's go to the <coughs> view. And so right now, this label is just black text. But when we go to the next record, it's going to start flashing because the quantity on hand of 35 is less than the reorder point of 100. So that's pretty much it. You may want to think about, you could change this. <clears throat> so maybe you don't want a label to flash, but you want uh, the text box uh, to, to flash. So you could do that by, or maybe you want both to flash. So let's go ahead and do that. So, um, it would be the same type of thing here. So we'll just copy it, uh, and just change this to, I think it's called quantity on hand and try that. So we have both of them go now and Let's see how that works. Now both the quantity on hand text and the label are flashing red and black in unison. Okay, uh, that should do it. So if you have any questions or critiques, please leave me a comment. Um, if you appreciated the tutorial, uh, please hit subscribe and like. Definitely hit the subscribers. And always remember, thank you for watching.